Hello legends and welcome back to today's video. Now I want to give you a little bit of a guide in today's video because I've had quite a few people asking me about this and they're not really understanding what's going on. So I had a couple of uh, Discord messages so I thought I'd jump in and give you a bit more of a guide today than a general play. So I'm going to do the guide first and I'll kind of show you what I've been up to. So if you go on to events um, we've also got this tab here and it's called Global Awakening. Now someone spotted out that I got to 200 and didn't quite understand what was going on. So yes this is a way to get a free M Bison or Rose obviously depending on who you choose. Personally I'm probably not going to actually get there but what I want to do is explain this event to you and sort of say you don't need to worry too much. So you get this ultra rare crate here which basically allows you to pick one of the legendary characters which is obviously very very important because these characters are ridiculous. Now I know two people who've got it, uh, my brother's got one of these characters and so does one of my uh, friends Neil. So they are both very ridiculous, these characters, and it's M. Bison they both have, and he is a stupid character, to tell you the truth. Um, I always hire him when I can when I'm going up the uh, road. Uh, the Sorry, the name is out of my head, the one where it's three stages, I always hire him, and you can just see him basically kill everyone. It, it's stupid. He's a very stupid character, and that's why if you go and look at teams that are very far in the game you will see that basically every single person has an M Bison to use so he's a very ridiculous character and I do think most people should be using him so yeah but there's M Bison for you so the way this works is that you're getting these points for upgrading fighters so every time you awaken a B fighter to A plus you get points when you get a B to S you get points or when you get a B to S plus you get points. It's very simple and what that means in simple terms is that if we go into the awaken section, characters awaken. So for example, these blue ones here are B. So it's saying if I get these characters up here to A, I'm going to get a point. So if I go back, you'll see, go into events. So awaken B fighters to A plus, so it's five out of six. Now if I go back to Ken, just leveling him up once isn't actually going to get him up to A plus. What that's going to do is take him to B plus. So I have to get him to A plus to get the point. So it is worth just sort of making sure you upgrade all characters anyway. So now I've got him to B, you'll see here. So he's on B plus, so that's not gonna give me a point there. What I then need to do is take him up again to get him to A. So at the moment you can see I've got like this character to A plus, I've got this Ken to A plus, so there's a few characters I have to A plus, so it's purple two. You need to get them to to get a point. Now I don't actually have a good example to show you that right now. Um, let me just check the fire lot actually, because if I've got one of these characters spare, which I don't at the moment, so if I had a spare Ken, or spare um, red guy here, I could obviously fuse them up, but I don't at the moment. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is for now. So I don't wanna get him up to purple for now. So I need to have a little think about that. But basically it works like that. That's the A plus. So we need to just get them up to a single purple tier. And now of course that's quite difficult because to do that, you do need the same character twice. So for example, if I had another Dudley, I'd better put Dudley into Dudley and get a point. And then that would put the point up slowly. So it, it's it's quite a, it is a pay to win event. This is kind of what I wanted to tell you that I see a lot of people worrying about this countdown here. Going, oh no, 17 days, I'm never going to get it. You aren't ever going to really get it anyway. Um, so I, you, I don't want you guys to feel too bad about not getting up to that seven day countdown but what I did want to bring to your attention is that this doesn't disappear so it says if you don't make it within 17 days you're still going to be able to take 8888 eight, eight, eight diamonds which is roughly what two and a bit summons so it, it I know it's annoying because obviously getting M Bison would be absolutely top tier but actually getting up this without spending a huge amount of money is going to be quite difficult so I just wanted to kind of bring it to your attention, that's how it works. So then for example, A grade fires, so awaken a B grade fire up to S plus, 
because obviously that's the max of B grade fight I can go. So what it means by that is, again, if I go into these characters, Ivy is an A plus character. The A plus characters are the purple characters, the, pur the characters you can only get purple. So what that means is when you do a summon and you pull a character like um, Kami, she is locked to purple. You can't get a blue Kami. So she's default A. Whereas when you pull a Ken, you can get him on B. Then you need two more of him to get him to B plus. Then you need two more B plus, B, uh, B plus characters to get him up to A. Then you need another one of him on A to get him up to A plus. And that's how these points are going to be added up. So of course you do get more points. As you can see, they go up quite, quite a bit in here for the A grade fighters. And you need to do sort of certain amounts. So there's six there, then you go three, then there's three. So as you can see, I've not actually done any of these here. All these points I've got along here from that 21 and that one there. So it is difficult to actually go up this tree. And I mean, I, I'm i not, I mean, I've, I've brought a couple of two pound packs. So I'm not going to say I'm, you know, extremely paid to I've probably spent a 10 on the game. Um, but I'm only this far. So unless you've got very, very lucky within your summons and happen to get a grade fires almost every time, you're probably not going to get to this chest. But that is technically how you unlock a free M Bison, but it's not free because to actually finish this is quite a long journey. So I thought I'd bring that to your attention and sort of explain that a little bit because I had a few people ask me what this was. But yes, to recap, you need to just awaken fighters and then if you get there, I think it was a, a 30 day countdown this had. If you get there before then, you can pick up this crate and get, well, I mean, you can get any of these characters, but you'd be silly not to take M. Bison. And that's how that works. So yeah, it is, it's not too bad, um, but again, it stays forever. So it's quite nice, but you just lose the legendary character i mean yes there's still a chance you could get them in the summon but you probably won't the odds are ridiculous so there's the global awakening that is how that works i hope it's kind of answered a few of the questions that i had but yeah so um i just wanted to kind of go through and show you where i see some legend use my code can i see who that is oh, i can't that's a shame everyone use my password there come and join me <laughs> we'll see you pursuit Oh, I was getting absolutely rattled yesterday. I was going through, um, I was doing a 14 day growth here. We're on day two now, as you can see. So I can claim all these. Oh, I'm close to the next EX move as well, which might actually, should help me quite a bit. The daily missions aren't as important, guys, just to let you know. Obviously, it's still worth doing them, but you need to focus on those growth missions. So obtain, oh, this one here, right? This, this was annoying me. I was trying to go through this. I, I don't know what portal I need to take. <laughs> I, I, I need to like find a guide on this or something because it was driving me mental. How do I get there? What portal do I need to take? Oh, I've been going through almost every portal like an absolute nut job. And I just can't seem to find the one which, which will take me to that one place. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give it another cheeky go here. Maybe that one. Now, I've been through that one and I've Okay, what's this one do? This looks like it should do it, but it probably won't. I I've got to be missing a portal somewhere. No, that's taking me back to the start again. Hang on, that's not right. I've gone through... I, I swear to God. I've gone through every portal. Every portal. And every portal I go through just takes me back to the start. Um, go through there. So that comes out of there. So where does this one take me then? If it's not that one down there. Let's put me here. What's this one doing? Come on. What does that one do? This one looks promising. It's at a weird angle. Just put me here. Um, I don't think I've ever been through that one. Well, that's put me back to the start here now, though. <sighs> do, do you see what I mean? I... I've been, okay, I think I know which one it is now. I'm a bit hyped here. Go through there. If this car could move quicker as well, it, it frustrates me. Come on. So I'm gonna go through that one. Why is there a weird block there? Go through that one. 
No! Oh, I, why did I go back through that one? Oh my god, I hate that this game is so annoying. Like, who thought this would be a fun idea? To just put stupid portals everywhere in hope that one will accidentally take you into the middle. So, wait. Was it that one I need to go through? Or did that take me back to the start? No, I need to go through this one up here, that was it. So go through that one. Okay, now I went... Did I go through that? See, this is my... I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten. <laughs> I've already forgotten what I, what I did. Okay, so I, I went and tried that one. Let's try this one up here. Come on, take me into the middle. Take me into the middle. Oh, for God's sake. How does every pool take you back? In? I can't be bothered. I need to find a guide for that because that's, that's annoyed me. <laughs> okay, so day challenges. So at, at oh, what's, uh, what's the next week? Day pack. Hey, I'm going to buy that tomorrow so I can get a guaranteed purple. And I've already cleared, let's go my growth I've already cleared two of those. So these are becoming a little bit more stressful now to the point where I might not actually get the 350 mark because it's it's a lot of sort of resources going through but rest rest assured that you do get 70 just by logging in so I need two S plus grade fighters seven S grade fighters so it's going to take quite a bit to get those 50 summons so I, I'm just going to kind of hold it out and see where we can get to and see what happens but you know as, as long as I can kind of get most of the way through that I'm pretty happy Every day I'm trying to grab as many as I possibly can. I can't do this one because I didn't clear it once in the last week. So that's kind of staggered that down. But I can get them all but one. I think it's doing one of those every time. Oh no, it hasn't. It's been bit off that one. Nice. So anyway, long story short guys, keep checking this. I'll keep popping onto it every day. But it's not too bad. I, I will be able to get that. I'll just watch a quick video. <laughs> but yeah, there we go guys. So that is how you unlock M Bison for free. I haven't done any more story mode yet. Um... I'm still stuck on 8.32, but I don't mind being stuck on 8.32 because it's quite a good position because you start to get purple gear, which is very, very nice. So yeah, do kind of bear that in mind. We do have this cheeky little login event going on here as well, guys. So again, it's pretty decent, but yeah. So that's kind of where we're at. I think they're doing very well with this. I'm certainly not going to complain about it. I think the way they do the in-app purchases and stuff is pretty good. Um, and yeah, I think they've done a very good job. I'm curious to know what you what you guys are thinking at the moment. I'm really enjoying this. And I hope all of you legends are as well. I hope that you're all doing well. And I'll see all you beauties in the next one.